Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna see how to set up DKIM for Exchange Server and Office 365. So what is DKIM? DKIM is an authentication mechanism to protect from email spoofing uh, from spammers. DKIM allows the receivers to check the authenticity of email server that is received. How it achieve this? So every outgoing email from your organization, for example, if you enabled DKIM for your organization, every outgoing email from your organization contains a string which is added to the message header that is encrypted with the private key. And once the recipient server received the email, they're gonna decrypt it with the public key that you published in your public DNS. So this key pair encryption and decryption make uh, the email communication more authenticated that brings a better trust for your email service. To configure DKIM in Office 365, you don't need to do anything. It is by default configured that you can confirm by the verification method that I'm gonna show in the demonstration at the end. And for the exchange server, there is no inbox feature to enable DKIM. So you need to depend a third party plugin. And here I'm gonna use something which provided by email architecture. Uh, you, you get the same link from here that is free for one month and you can extend it by paying some $200. This is the cost that is for the standard and for the enterprise it's a different cost. And we're going to see in more detail how DKIM works and how the encryption and decryption going to work and how to set up DKIM for Exchange Server. So we're going to see in more detail how DKIM domain keys identified mail works. So I have a tuition tube server. This is my server exchange server. I enabled DKIM so that I have a private key and a pair public key is here. So the private key is installed in the tuition tube server on premises exchange server and a public key is installed or configured as a text record in the DNS. My DNS is Godaddy, so I just configured it here. So what is going to happen? Uh, I encrypt with the private key and the receiver server gonna decrypt it with the public key. So any message you encrypted with a private key, only a public key can decrypt it and there should be a key pair. So you cannot decrypt it with any public key. You need the same pair public key to decrypt this message. So I have a sample email here. I'm gonna send this email to IT Pro Guide. So when I click send, it's gonna process through a MD5 algorithm and I get a value, hash value like this, what you can see in the yellow box. Then this hash value gonna encrypt using a private key. This private key is what I installed in Tuition Tube Server for DKIM. So once this is encrypted, I get an encrypted message like this. Then this encrypted string, I'm gonna add to the header of my email. So the important point that you want to understand is I'm not encrypting the entire email. I'm just adding a string to the message header. Then I send this email to IT Pro Guide Server. IT Pro Guide Server re receive an email. And in the message header, it contains the encrypted hash value of the message. So IT Pro Guide server gonna get the public key from the Godaddy DNS server for you, your DNS server, let's say. Then it gonna decrypt using this public key. So it get the hashes, right? It get the hash value. So, so IT Pro Guide server want to confirm that the hash value that you received as a part of the header of the message and the hash value of the email that you received is same. So what it does, it's going to pass the message again through an MD5 algorithm and it get a hash values, right? And this hash value is going to compare with the hash value that received with the, the message header. If that matches, the IT Pro Guide server going to accept this message. If it didn't match, then the IT Pro Guide server going to reject this message. So this is how DKIM works. Now you may have a question that how the private key and public key pair works. So any message which encrypted with a private key only can be decrypted with a public key, which is a pair of this private key. If you want to learn more detail, there are links provided below the description of the video. You can just go through it to understand how asymmetric private key and public key going to work. So this is one of the website which I found uh, explains very well about the public key and private key. So a public key which is available uh, to the public and a private key which is going to be a secret key that sits in your server. So when you encrypt your messages with this private key, 
then only uh, the key pair public key can decrypt it and it is a reversible operation so when you encrypt with a private key you cannot uh, decrypt with the private key you have, you have to use a public key to decrypt it so by this way you are safe because this is a com the public key is a combination or is a product of very large uh, secret prime numbers and it is not possible to find out the private key from a public key by this way the receiver server able to authenticate or make sure that the message has received from the uh, right server and there is no alteration because it compare the hash values so if the hash values are not same the decrypted hash values are not same it means there is some alteration in the email that is why the hash value changes so if the hash value matches it means the message is from the right source and also there is no alteration in the email So let's move to the demonstration uh, email architect provide a plugin for dkim with exchange server because exchange server didn't provide any inbox dkim feature so you need a plugin and to be installed for dkim so let's install dkim plugin for exchange server for that click on the dkim installer click on the installation file and complete the wizard it stop the exchange transport service and start automatically once you complete the wizard click finish then dkim manager will open automatically then go and click on dkim configuration then click new you just need to enter your domain that is for me it is tuitiontube.in so just enter the domain that's all then click save once the configuration saved then move to the article again meanwhile you can just uh, check the uh, new certificate that has created now we're gonna verify the private key installation for that go and click on the verification link here click next what you have to do is you need to send a text email or the content is not important you just need to send an email to the following address so like this you just need to write an email to that email address once you send the email you will get an answer here so you can see it pass SPF but for the DKIM there is an error this is what we expected so the private key installation is okay now we're gonna do the public key installation go and click on export public key a new window pop up here and you can see text record and public key and in the bottom also you will see a text record and a policy the last one is optional i'm just gonna copy these records to a notepad so that i can easily copy paste uh, to the internal dns and also the external public dns now this is my internal dns manager microsoft windows dns i'm gonna create a text record for dkim here so go to the then go back to the notepad that we just created copy the values into appropriate columns now copy the record into the text value now let's go and fill up the optional record that comes at the bottom of the uh, word file that we just created again go and uh, create a new text record Go to the bottom of the word file and copy the copy the host name then copy the text value this is an optional record then click ok then done now the internal dns record for the dkim has completed now let's move public record for that log into your public dns management for me it's a uh, godaddy 
so I just log into GoDaddy here now we have to repeat the same step what we did for the internal DNS record create a text record copy the values for DKIM copy the first record then fill it up in the GoDaddy form this public key is going to be uh, used by the receiving servers for decrypting the string in the message header so the public key is uh, available to all copy the optional record then copy the policy value enter it here then save now we finished up the records that required for internal and external DNS let's go back to the article and uh, verify the DKIM we're gonna use the same link uh, to test the DKIM so go to the domain key text page click on DKIM test then again send an email to this email address now go back to the DKIM test page now you can see the SPF and DKIM has passed so the configuration DKIM configuration has completed and it has uh, successfully done you can verify this uh, by sending an email to Gmail also for that you need to go to the show original option here you can see SPF and DKIM has passed I hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe our YouTube channel